Hey, speculators, it's Rod, TDG, Traders Dev Group, and Futures on Fire. Welcome back to the Futures on Fire channel. In tonight's video, I am going to answer a comment. Love comments. Would love you to hit that like, subscribe, turn on little bell notifications so you can know next time that we're broadcasting, and leave a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Tonight, I'm going to be responding to and do an entire quick video uh, on a topic that I've covered in the past, which is basically using the uh, order execution on a trading view to trade a uh, demo or live account um, over on Trade of Eight. And you can also, of course, uh, trade TradeStation, AMP, and a number of other brokers that are supported there. But what's great is being able to use TradingView to actually trade your top step trader combine on their white label version of Trade of Eight, which they call Top Step TST Trader. So in tonight's video, we're going to answer Tim's comment here, which he said he'd love to see a video on creating and using bracket or OCO orders, OCO orders, which stands for order cancels order. On TradingView, he scalps the NQ on TST Trader and places bracket orders and needs to be able to move things around pretty quickly. So let's fire it up right after this. Okay, awesome. So uh, this is the video that Tim left his comment on, how to trade your top step trader combine using TradingView. I'll put a link to it in this video as well, so you can check that out. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over to uh, TradingView. I'm logged into TradingView, and then I'm also connected to my Trade of 8 account. So this would be the same as if you connected to your top step trader combine and were connected to TST. This is what Trade of 8 looks like on the back end. Okay, and I've actually been trading this demo account a little bit tonight uh, on the MNQ, so that's what we'll actually use for demonstration purposes uh, right now. Okay, so right now, as you can see, I have this um, order panel opened up here to the right-hand side. Here's how you get that order panel opened up. You just right-click anywhere on the chart and hit Trade and say, like, Buy. That's going to get it open for you. That's one way to do it. Another way you can do it is down here in the bottom right hand corner, there's a little gear. And if you click on the gear, you can show the buy sell buttons, you can show the order panel, or you can show the dome. Here's what a dome looks like. I don't uh, particularly care for trading on a dome and um, so don't do it very much. I couldn't really comment on whether their dome is, uh, is better or worse than others. I would imagine that um, if you trade on the dome, you want to trade directly over on uh, Trade of Eight versus using the dome over here on um, on uh, Trading View. All right. The benefits of of using the Trading View interface for me are the chart trader and the ability to have other custom indicators and generally just a better visual chart with which to trade off of. So what I'm going to do is come over here and show the order panel right like that. Um, from top to bottom, pretty straightforward, buy or sell. You can do market limit, stop, stop, limit orders. You're going to have your order price and things in here. Um, now, what I'm going to do is just close this because I want to actually just fill it in with some, some data to start with. Let's say I wanted to buy this level down here. I'll just hit trade, buy. Oops, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Moving a little too fast here. Let's come back to the NASDAQ. All right. So right click. Go to trade, hit buy, okay? So now what we're doing is we're looking to buy at 233.50, um, and that is four, 450 ticks or so away from the current price, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in an order of two. Now here's how you actually add your bracket order. You, hit, you click the take profit and the stop loss, and it's going to default to the last values that I had in here. Now I'm a swing trader. Tim is a day trader or scalper, so he's gonna probably have these stops and targets be a lot tighter. Now let me bring that up. Uh, I don't know anything about Tim's trading style, but he did describe it as, as scalping, I think. What did he say? Scalp, he scalps the NQ, okay? Now, this is just my personal opinion, which is that trading view is getting a lot better at order execution, but I wouldn't say that it's probably uh, ideal for scalping versus a desktop application, something like TT or NinjaTrader. Um, you could probably get it done. It depends on what your definition of scalping, uh, scalping is. Um, but what I wanna point out is that they don't have uh, multiple stops and targets for multiple contracts, which is like advanced ATM or order management that you can do on a lot of other platforms. So basically this order, when I create, it's gonna be all in, all out, right? So I'm gonna have two units, two contracts, and my take profit is going to be, um, uh, you know, 75 ticks and my stop loss is gonna be uh, 20, sorry, these are points. I think that's points, right? Yeah, so you just wanna make sure that um, 
that you're aware of. Let me just move over to the MNQ. I want to do it in the MNQ. Actually, he does it on the NQ, so that's fine. Um, by the way, you see what happens when I do that when I switch between um, when I switch between uh, instruments. Okay, it's kind of a drag. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense because they don't want to leave that particular ticket in there. So what I'm going to do here is uh, current price is 349. So let me just come down to like three 340, something like that. Come in here and go like that. All right, put in a stop loss and a take profit. And as you can see here, you can do this by dollar amount or whatever you want. So if I just did an adjustment of uh, 250 target um, and 125 loss, that would be super tight. I mean, that's only in the full NQ, 125 bucks is just you know five points or something. So that'd be super, super tight. But maybe we can just uh, place a trade here and get, get filled and we'll see how it works. All right, so that's it. That's basically the answer to your question. You want to check time and day, uh, time and force. I changed mine to GTC because um, when I'm a swing trader, I want to make sure these orders stay in there. And let's switch it to market so we actually get a fill. And we're just going to buy two at market right here. Okay. All right. And as you can see on a 15 minute, let's see how tight that is. So I I, I would never trade with with those those um those things that tight for me. So let me just switch to a three minute, see if we give ourselves a little bit more space. All right, I'm gonna take this stop loss down and modify that order, take the profit target up and modify that order. Now you can say, don't ask me each time to, uh, to modify. And again, if uh, in Tim's example, if he's a scalper, he probably doesn't wanna have to constantly um, do this where he says, uh, modify modify that so by the way the way you turn that off I believe is you go here to trade settings so I'm in the bottom right hand corner you go to trade settings and you say instant order placement so let's check if we go to instant order placement now if I move my stop loss up a little closer to price see it doesn't ask me to confirm okay so again that's just you click on this and by default under trade settings, it will say instant order placement is unchecked. If I uncheck that and hit okay, and then move anything, it's going to ask for me to confirm the order, okay? So again, for scalpers, you probably wanna turn something like that off, all right? Now, if I, uh, now we got that set again, all right. So come in here uh, for, for market. Now, this is something, if you guys have figured this out, uh, please leave a please leave a comment um, and and help us out because I have not um, figured out how to actually create a template that would save these uh, conditions in here. So if I wanted to buy two more at limit, see how um, I have to re manually check this every time. So that's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, there's no sort of concept. I haven't been able to see anything on here that allows me to save a template, a trading template. Um, again, leave a comment if you're aware of how to save a, a, a trading template. But there you go, right there. So what you want to do is you just want to make sure that you're connected to the right data, you connect to the right account. Now, by the way, see how this says demo down here um, and my trade of demo. I can also toggle between this and my live account, which is pretty cool. Uh, I dig that as well. So um, that's a nice benefit. I don't know if... Um, if you're a funded top step trader, if you still actually even have a demo account, you'd have your live account and demo account, you could toggle between the two. Hey, if you're a funded top step trader, which I was way back in the day, um, and the, uh, the prop programs that we're going through are not top step at this, at this point. But if you are a funded top step trader and use their trade of eight platform, um, maybe you can leave a comment, excuse me, if you use TradingView, leave a comment here and uh, let me know if you can actually um, have access to uh, still a demo environment and uh, your live funded environment uh, at the same time. Uh, that would be cool to, to know because I don't know the answer to that. But if we switch over here, you're going to be able to see that um, right here we are in this position. Okay, the integration is really, really nice. And again, I'm trading this, uh, uh, my own demo account that's associated with my um, with one of my live uh, futures accounts at Trade of Eight. It happens to be the one that I don't trade, I only use for, for data. You can also check the channel here for how to deposit a small amount of money in Trade of Eight, pay like six to 12 bucks a month and get all of your data. This is how we're going to be teaching and training people in our Triple P uh, pre-prep 
pre-prop prep courses um, where one of the major drawbacks I see is some of these prop programs get a really bad name. Oh, they're impossible. They're just trying to make money. No one can pass these things. That's all nonsense. People, um, <laughs> good traders can pass these things and it's a tremendous business opportunity uh, being able to get access to, uh, to, to capital in very short uh, periods of time that you can then um, use to, to grow your own trading account and um, hone your skills. Uh, but the challenge is people start these prop programs and these combines uh, their challenges. Uh, there's the Guardian one. There's uh, there's the Gauntlet. There's uh, FTMO. There, there's d so many of them for Forex, and um, there's probably a hundred uh, futures and Forex prop trading programs now. And people are paying fifty, hundred, two hundred, three hundred, five hundred dollars a month before they even have a strategy that actually works. So what we're gonna little teaser here, depending on when you're watching this video, I'm currently putting together a program that will just be part of our core stuff, which is helping people find a strategy and approach in demo before they even trade the uh, the demo that is being looked at by the uh, the um, the evaluation of the prop company so anyhow this video is not about any of that let's go ahead and just drag this in here and take profit it's going to ask me to modify the order and boom and now let's just do one on the es real quick we'll just do a quick example uh, i'm going to um, place a limit order at uh, current price is 64s, right? So let's try to get filled here at 63.50, quantity of three. Um, where is it getting these super weird um, prices from? Lots of lots of risk there. I mean, it's like take profit. It's like a uh, stop loss of. Let's go with five. I think that come. I know where I know where that's coming from. I'm not going to get into it right now. All right, so there you go. Risking uh, 187 to make 750. Uh, going to enter three. I'm just going to do it at market and boom. And there we go. And now to avoid having to constantly um, move this and then modify. Remember, we're going to go down here and we're going to go to trade settings and we're going to go to instant order placement and hit that there and boom and now we're all now we're all set okay now let me see one last thing if i move that out of the way widen this up a little bit okay i think that if i move this it's not going to open up the trading panel that's nice see so it doesn't open up the trading panel all right and if i just want to cancel this entire order i think i showed this before we'll just hit close position Okie dokie. I think that will be it for tonight. So thank you so much, Tim, for your question on how to use OCO orders or bracket orders on TradingView. Hopefully that answered it. And if you got to this point, really appreciate you uh, checking out Futures on Fire. Hit that little hit the subscribe and like button. You'll be notified of next time we trade. I'm trying to do something a little bit different here um, where we make as many of these videos actionable as possible. Uh, yes, you know how I turn 500 into 50,000 is interesting or here's my fancy car. All that stuff is interesting. It's just different. Uh, you won't see any of that here. It's just how to, how to actually uh, get things done and, and navigate uh, what I believe are the, uh, the best markets to learn to actively day trade, and that's the futures markets. All right, leave it there for tonight. Again, it's Rye with TDG, Futures on Fire, reminding you to stay green, trade like you mean it. We'll see you at the next video. Thanks.